Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and yeah, summer's over. Welcome back to a normal work schedule, and uh, hopefully you had a good one. So anyways, we're going to jump back in. We're kind of last week, we did one on C++. We did a video on C++ game engines. That is, game engines where you can write your game's logic using the C++ programming language. And today I figured I'd do the same treatment, but instead for the C Sharp programming language. So these are game engines where you can script your game logic using the C Sharp programming language. That does not mean the game engine was written in C Sharp. Many times they're written in C++, but they expose their API as C Sharp. It also doesn't mean that they're exclusively C Sharp. So some of these languages you can actually use for uh, other languages inside of these engines. Um, I'm also only going to stick to 3D engines in this case that are under active development, uh, and I'm sticking away from frameworks. Got to draw the line somewhere. So you're not going to see, say, App Game Kit or Mono Game. Now you could create uh, 3D games in those, but they're not really 3D game engines. So I didn't specifically include them in this list. Um, speaking of lists, I have have a list up on Game From Scratch. I'll toss that link down below. In addition to every one of these game engines and every single one of these game engines, actually, I've done additional content on. In that particular case, there is a learn more link. So the first link is to the engine itself. The second is to either a video or a tutorial series I did covering that particular game engine. All right, let's jump in. Now, this list is much shorter than the C++ list, and I'm going to start with the most obvious one. If you want to write with C Sharp, the most commonly used game engine, bar none, is the Unity game engine. And they've kind of been stripping out all the other options. You used to be able to write using a programming language called Boo, which is very Python-esque, and you used to be able to use like a JavaScript variant called UnityScript, and they've both been removed. So basically, if you are developing using Unity, you are using C Sharp. And I imagine there are more C Sharp programmers in the world now because of the Unity game engine than any other reason out there, so it makes sense to be number one. Um, all right, let's move on. Number two, uh, this one's kind of new, actually, or newish. Uh, it's CryEngine. CryEngine moved from they used to use well, they're C plus plus, and you still use C plus uh, plus. They have their own built-in language, and I think they used to use Lua, and they moved away from it. But now with the new versions of CryEngine, CryEngine 5.4 and 5.5, they are adding C sharp support. So if you want to develop in C sharp, but you want to use a AAA style engine, uh, CryEngine may be a great choice for you. And if you looked at CryEngine in the past and kind of wrote it off as bloated, undocumented, or various other very good reasons, uh, check it out again. It's actually improved a heck of a lot as a game engine. So uh, if you are looking at C-Sharp development, CryEngine is definitely an option out there. Now do keep in mind, uh, it is being implemented to a certain degree, so you may find some of the documentation missing or lacking, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, but CryEngine is definitely one to consider checking out. Uh, next up on our list, we have the Zenko game engine. Now, the Zenko game engine used to be called the Paradox game engine, and um, it also used to be a commercial game engine, and all of that's kind of changed. As of a month ago, Zenko 3.0 is now completely free and open sourced under the MIT source code license. Uh, Zenko is a modern, very, very cool quality graphics. In fact, the company that created it was indirectly spun off from Silicon Graphics, which is like one of the preeminent graphics companies out there. Uh, it's a very high fidelity component based 3D game engine and as I mentioned it is now also an open source project so definitely do consider checking that one out. Another one in the list is the Wave Engine. The Wave Engine is another free open source commercial 3D game engine uh, written in C Sharp uh, cross platform. Again totally free open source uh, VR support uh, definitely one to consider checking out. I did a hands-on with this one so if you want to learn more do be sure to check that out. Uh, next up, we have the Godot game engine. Now, Godot with version 3 and increasingly with the upcoming 3.1 has been adding C Sharp support, one of the most requested features and one of the things people are most excited for. Now, there are occasionally a couple of glitching things, things that are being fixed as Godot matures to 3.1. Uh, the 3.1 alpha was just launched a couple of weeks back and that stabilized the C Sharp support in the Godot game engine. Now, do keep in mind, I also had Godot on my C list. Godot is a very flexible engine in this manner. There's the primary way of programming it is using GD script, their built-in scripting language, but you can also, as a first-class programming language, now use C Sharp. Um, Godot is 2D, 3D game engine, completely open source, a uh, very cool project. I've covered it extensively on Game From Scratch, including uh, a comprehensive tutorial series on both 1.0 
and 2.0, as well as now a 3.0 version that is currently still under development, but um, already covers pretty much everything, you know, at least to cover the 2D side of things with the 3D stuff coming soon. So if you haven't checked out Godot already, um, yeah, do. It's, it's a very cool open source project. Uh, next up, we have Banshee Engine. Now, Banshee Engine is, um, it sounds like a C++ engine, and it was on my C++ game engine list. Uh, it's an open source game engine, modern C++14 style code, but one of the things they are doing heavily is supporting C-sharp scripting with complete high-level API. Um, Banshee 3D Engine is also open source. It is built over top of the BS framework, which if nothing else has a funny name. Um, it's definitely one to check out. I did a hands-on video with it. It's a sole developer project that's exceedingly polished. So uh, I'll be very interested to see where they go with this. Now, do suggest though, if you check it out, uh, build it from more recent source code. The versions of the binaries that they provide tend to be quite outdated. I've fallen in that trap a couple of times now. Now, next up is a game engine I featured on the station about three weeks ago. Uh, as you can see, it is, um, it's, it's not available yet. Uh, so a bit of a tease, uh, but it is a C-sharp based 3D game engine, cool graphics, very good looking, and very, very similar to Zenko, um, just not open source. So that might hurt them a little bit in competing there. Uh, but I did a video of this one showing it in action. If you haven't checked out Flax Engine, it's capable of some incredibly nice graphics, still under development. So some of the things aren't fully in there yet, like the terrain engine, etc. Uh, but it is a cool component based 3D game engine that uses the C-sharp programming language. Now, next up is last of all, actually, this isn't a really sexy page by any means, but this is Urho Sharp. Now, Urho Sharp is a um, port of the Urho 3D game engine. Um, there was another one. Oh, God, I'm forgetting its name again. I did this in the last video. <sighs> Once, Atomic Game Engine. Ha! I got up this time. Uh, there was also Atomic Game Engine, which was quite literally a port of Urho um, 3D with C Sharp front end and a better editor. Unfortunately, that project is now defunct. There is, however, this Urho Sharp project. Um, this is maintained by Xamarin. Those are the people behind Mono. So um, it's got good backings, but it's a port of the Urho uh, 3D game engine. The Urho 3D game engine is quite... Um, robust. So if you see features and functionality, it's been around for over a decade now. It's very mature. A number of developers are contributing to it. And the Urho Sharp is a complete uh, C Sharp layer on top of that. It's fully documented. Again, Xamarin is the company behind it. So it is well supported. So this is definitely one to consider checking out. And that is it. Uh, so here we go, the list. And I got this strange feeling that I am seriously, seriously missing some uh, key ones here. And I'd be interested um, yeah, if, if you've got some that I haven't thought of here, because I know there are more, but I couldn't come up with any. And in all of my searching, I couldn't find more than this list. But if you've got any more C Sharp programmed engines, do let me know. Another one was Hero, the Hero engine, which is an MMO based game engine, but it, it doesn't, I can't 100% be sure that it's still being developed. Um, so yeah, if you've gotten more suggestions, I would love to hear them. Let me know in the comments down below. As I mentioned, uh, this is a much, much, much shorter list than the C++ version. C++ I did just the other day, and you'll see there was two to three times as many game engines on that list. Uh, but C Sharp is still pretty solid, growing in size, and some of these engines are quite well established, and they've got a really bright future in front of them. So um, if you are looking for ones to check out specifically, well, obviously Unity is a no-brainer. Unity is the C-sharp game engine. Uh, open source is your thing. Well, you're spoiled for choice here. You've got the Zenko project, which has a lot of momentum behind it, Godot project, which has a lot of momentum behind it. Um, and then you've got the underdog guys here, like Wave Engine and Flax, um, that are definitely looking good too. In fact, every single game engine on here is quite capable. So there's not one that I would recommend against, frankly. Um, so if you are looking for creating your game logic using the C-sharp programming language, while the list isn't excessively long, there are some great, great options on it. And if you've got more, do let me know and I'll add them to this list. Okay, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye for now.